Hi, thank you for watching Kuku Nano water purifier installation video. To complete this task, you will need a sharp knife, a screwdriver, a pair of long nose pliers, two adjustable wrenches, and an electric drill with 7mm drill bit. The installation kit includes 5 meter of a quarter inch PE tube, an inline shut off valve, two elbow quick connectors, a three way shut off valve and some clips. Now, start to unpack the box. and take out the Cuckoo water purifier. Inside the box, you will find a user manual and a service card. Please remove all protection films before continuing. Next, you need to choose a location to put the water purifier. The ideal location is close to the cold water supply and near the cabinet side panel, where you can drill an unnoticeable hole for feed water connection. Then, put the water purifier to your decided location. Now, you can start the installation. Step 1, locate the closest cold water supply shut off valve, and shut off the cold water by turning the valve clockwise. Then, put a bucket under the valve, Turn the nut counter clockwise, using a 5 8 inch wrench, to remove the cold water line from the valve. Next, the three way shut off valve goes in line in between the valve and the cold water line. Put the rubber seal inside the inlet of the three way shut off valve, and fasten that end to the water supply valve by tightening the connection by hand. Then by wrench for a quarter turn clockwise further. Please don't over tighten it. Turn the elbow outlet to the right position, where you can control the shut off handle and connect the PE tube easily. Fasten the cold water line to the straight outlet of the three way shut off valve, by tightening the connection by hand. Then by wrench for a quarter turn clockwise further. Please don't over tighten it. At last, cut the PE tube in adequate length for feed water connection. Remove the steel nut from the three way shut off valve, put PE tube through the nut and attached onto the elbow outlet of the three way shut off valve. Then tighten the nut back onto the valve by hand. Then by wrench for another 3 full turn clockwise. Step 2. Locate a spot near the water purifier, drill a 7mm hole for feed water connection at an unnoticeable place if possible. Put the other end of the PE tube through the hole and it will connect to the blue tube behind the water purifier. Step 3, Feed Water Connection. Find the inline shut off valve from the installation kit, push the blue tube, which is the water inlet of the water purifier, into one end of the shut off valve. Then gently tug the tube to make sure connection is secure, repeat the same procedure to connect the PE tube to the other end of the shut off valve. Step 4, open the filter compartment, you will find a bag of quick connection joiners and clips for the filters connection. Let's start to connect and flush the filters one by one. Before continuing, cut another PE tube in adequate length to discard the waste water from the filters. First, remove the protection cap from the first filter outlet which is located at the top middle of the filter. Use a joiner to connect the first filter outlet with one end of the PE tube, put the other end of the PE tube to the drain.
Turn on the cold water supply, the three-way shut-off valve, and the inline shut-off valve near the purifier, check for leaks. In the meanwhile, flush the first filter for two minutes. When it is time, turn off the inline shut-off valve at the back, wait for the wastewater stop, then press and hold down on the collet ring, remove the PE tube from the first joiner. Connect the side water inlet of the second filter to the empty end of the first joiner. Then, repeat the same steps as the first filter, remove the protection cap from the middle water outlet of the second filter, and use another joiner to connect it and the PE tube. Remember to push in and tug to secure the connection. Turn back on the inline shut off valve, flush the first and second filter at the same time for 2 minutes. Repeat the same steps as the second filter. When the waste water stop, press and hold down on the collet ring, remove the PE tube from the second joiner. Connect the side water inlet of the third filter to the empty end of the second joiner. Remove the protection cap from the middle water outlet of the third filter, and use another joiner to connect it and the PE tube. Remember to push in and tug to secure the connection. Turn back on the inline shut off valve, flush the first three filters at the same time for two minutes. The waste water will turn dark at this time due to the carbon fine coming from the third filter. When the third one is done, Press and hold down on the collet ring, remove the PE tube from the third joiner. Remove the protection cap from the side water inlet of the fourth filter, connect it to the empty end of the third joiner. This time, locate the red tube at the back of the purifier, press and hold down on the collet ring, Remove the plug from the red tube. Connect the red tube to the PE tube. Turn back on the inline shut off valve, flush all four filters at the same time for two minutes. When the fourth one is done, remove the PE tube and replace the plug to the red tube. Now, when you turn on the valve, the water will go straight to the water tank. It will take 3 minutes to fill up the tank. In the meanwhile, you can use a pair of long nose pliers to insert the red clip in between the collet ring and the quick connector. The red clip is used to lock the connection and prevent leaking. Try to put the red clips for all connections. When finish, if no leak occurs, replace the compartment cover. Step 5 rinse the water tank and the hot and cold faucet. When the water tank is filled up, the purifier will cut off the water itself. Shut off the valve to stop water supply. Now, get a 5 liter or bigger container under the hot and cold faucet. Lift up both faucet switches to release all water from the purifier. When finish, discard the water and turn back on the shut off valve, repeat all the rinse steps once again. When the second rinse finish, Turn back on the water supply. After the water tank is full, you can plug in and turn on the switches for hot and cold water as desired. From now on, you can have the consistent premier natural water supply from the Kuku Nano water purifier. Enjoy! Should you have any inquiries, please contact us on 1300 335699. Thank you for watching.